Hello once again. Friends, this time around, I want to show you all the consumables that I use as a Dragon Knight. I was not aware of the amount of consumables that I use, until I was taking screenshots and editing them. And let me tell you, they are a lot of consumables, Jesus Christ. This time I really would like if you guys could give me a like, and if you want to subscribe, that would be nice too. Some of the screenshots that I took are a little bit wishy-washy, sorry about that. Anyways, the first consumables in the list are the Concentration Potion, Awakening Potion, Berserk Potion and Mega Maniacal Potion. The first three potions don't stack. If you use the Concentration Potion and Berserk Potion at the same time, you will only get the buff of the Berserk Potion. But, if you use the potions in conjunction with the Maniacal Potion, you will get more attack speed. At least, that is what I think it does. Oh now. The only reason that I use the three potions is because I have the habit of do it. The next consumables are the Rune Stones. This stones are only usable by Rune Knights and Dragon Knights. If you are not one of this two, you can skip ahead. The first Rune Stone that I use is the Taurus's Rune Stone. This Rune Stone gives a ton of damage, 30 more strength for 15 minutes, and 250% more melee damage. The other stuff that it gives is irrelevant to my build, so I'm going to skip it, and because I'm very lazy, lol. The next one is Lux Anima Runestone. This is another runestone that gives a ton of damage. All size, critical, short range and long range 30% more damage, and 30% more hit points and spell points, insane stuff. A Sir Runestone. This runestone gives attack if you are in a party, and it gives attack to the party members. It increases the attack speed too. Very nice, very cool. Hagala's Runestone. This runestone gives a shell consuming 25% of your hit points, and gives the same amount of hit points it consumes to the shell, and decreases 25% of the monster attacks for 10 seconds. I don't know what the fuck this mean. I just use it and gives more hit points. The next one is Urge Runestone. This stone gives passive spell points every 10 seconds, and that's it. The next one is a good one, Aisha Runestone. This rune stone multiplies the effect of any item or skill that heals by 1.5. This is amazing when you are using golden syrup potion. Well, that's it for the rune stones. The next on the list is e-converter compedium. This item lets you choose any elemental converter that it has. It can be fire, earth, wind, etc. You can use the elemental converters to endow your weapon and do more elemental damage. Very cool. Rune strawberry cake is a consumable that gives you more attack. At the dummies it gives around 100k more damage, so it's good to have to min-max, it's completely fine. If you don't use this one, hit points increase potion large. This one gives more hit points and passive recovery. The next four potions give passive recovery hit points and spell points. This four potions are crucial to recover hit points and spell points. Use this four every time you want to farm or do instances to maintain your hit points and spell points, amazing stuff. The next two are crucial too. They give more critical rate. The first one being Buge de Noel. Increases hit points. And spell points restoration by 3%. Hit plus 3 and. Crit plus 7 for 10 minutes. Aruna Felt's Desert Sandwich. It gives critical rate plus 7 for 10 minutes. This two are the main consumables to get critical rate. Use them. Next on the list is an attack speed one. Enrich Cellarmine Juice is the name. It gives around 2 flat attack speed. Red Herb Activator. This consumable gives 15% melee and long damage. This is one of the consumables I use the most. The next two are great to recover hit points and spell points. Concentrated Golden Syrup and Concentrated Blue Syrup Potion. The Golden one is amazing when you are using Aisha Runstone. It recovers your hit points like crazy. And, the blue syrup gives a good amount of spell points. You can be using all your spell points and recovering them with blue syrup with no problem while you are farming. Blessing Scroll. Blessing Scroll is pretty cheap to make and buy, and it helps to get me insta-cast and a little more of attack. Now, let's talk about the Endeavor Potions. Some of these potions are optional. Is fine if you don't use them, but, because I can, I use them all. Ha <laughs> ha. This first one being Mega Sacred Draft Potion. It gives attack percent and all property damage resistance by 3% for 60 minutes. Mega Infinity Drink. For 60 minutes you get max hit points and max spell points plus 5%. Critical damage. Range and magical by 5% more. And cast cannot be interrupted. Mega Limited Power Booster. Attack Flea. Hit. Attack Speed. SP Consumption Reduced. And Fix Cast Time Reduced. It is what this potion gives. Not gonna lie, I'm tired of typing all of this. 
It's the first time I have to type this much. My goodness, guys. Once again, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. The next one on the list is Mega Manacle Potion. This potion gives attack speed. In conjunction with other potions, Mega Red Booster Potion. This potion gives attack and reduces delay after attack. This meaning, it gives more attack speed, reduces variable cast time by 5%, reduces the max hit points and spell points, and there's a low chance of getting attention concentrate when dealing physical or magical damage. This potion comes in handy when you can't instacast. Mega Rejuvenation Elixir and Mega Elixir of Energy if you did not have enough with Rejuvenation Tonic and Tonic of Energy, this two Megas are the way to go. They restores 5% of your max hit points and spell points. And, the cherry on top, they give increased move speed for 10 minutes. We are almost done with all the consumables, bear with me this last minutes. In the food section, we have Mega Warg Blood Cocktail. This food gives 20 more intelligence points crucial to instacast. Mega Shining Defense Scroll. This consumable gives 500 plus defense, and 200 plus magical defense for 60 minutes. This is optional. If you can handle the beating of a field map or an instance, is fine if you don't use it. Imperfect Almighty. This food gives plus 8 and all for your stat points. This is great to have in general better stats. Use it. Gorana Candy. Gorana Candy is essential to move around the map fast. It increases the move speed and gives attack speed. You can find this candy in Brazilus with the candy maker. You need to do a quest first to be able to buy it, or buy it from a player's vendor. Alrighty. The next two are optional, and only can be acquired in Halloween event. So yeah, you can't buy them, Pride's Wit and Envy skill. This too like I said, only can be acquired during Halloween. But, if you are able to get instacast without them is fine. Okay, now, where I can find this item shro? All this talk but nowhere to buy, what the fuck? Well some of the items are pretty easy to find. The only thing you need to do is go to main, and then the second floor. In this floor you can find most of the consumables that I use. If you can't find what are you looking in here, you can try in the market. Most of the time you can find the stuff there, if not, well you will have to look for the quest to do such item. And finally, that's all everyone. More than 30 consumables is what I use. That's the life of a dragon knight with a ton of money to spend and endeavor tokens to use. The more money you get and the more endeavor tokens you have, the easier it will be to get them. See you around.